Outside the Lines found several examples of athletes avoiding punishment in other college towns. This former Michigan State player was caught on video punching a student in a restaurant. He was never charged. Two men in Corvallis say Oregon State players beat them up in a bar bathroom. Charges dismissed. When the topic turns to the best college football player in America, dare someone not to say first and foremost the Southeastern Conference. And when the topic turns to where players break the laws more often than sometimes score touchdowns, dare someone not to say the exact same thing. At one point last year, the number of players arrested in the SEC was eight times greater than the runner-up conference, the Pac-12. And when it comes to being the worst there is at what they do, no one school contends for the title year in and year out better than Louisiana State University in Baton Rouge. Rocked by a trio of arrests recently that only go to ask yet again about a program that cares less about quality young men than it does about winning. And no one knows the LSU athletic program better than the man who hails from Baton Rouge and covers LSU from the New Orleans Times Picayune and at NOLA.com, Ron Higgins. Ron, thanks so much for joining us today. Glad to be here. Ron, I think you possibly put it best because after Anthony Jennings got arrested, the defensive lineman got arrested, the defensive back got arrested, all on burglary charges basically, your column was how do you pick a starting quarterback at LSU? Wait until somebody gets arrested. Ron, this isn't the first time this has happened at LSU. Has there been no change in the last 20 years of the culture there? Well, I mean, they, they've, they really do try, but you know, it all depends how hard you say try. Uh, and, and you have to look at it relative to the other schools in the SEC. I mean, it's just as bad as some other places. You know, coaches constantly harp. I mean, first of all, when you recruit a kid, you, you really you can't conduct background checks. All you can do is basically rely on the, the head coach of the high school to vouch for a kid's character. You can talk to his parents or whatever. The problem is a lot of times when you talk to a high school coach, he may not necessarily tell you the, the truth the whole, all the time because it looks good on his resume when he has so many kids recruited by major colleges and signs of major colleges. So sometimes there's that conflict there. So, you know, a college coach can only only do so much and, and get a kid, and, and then, uh, you know, you, you hope to rely on the people who've been in contact with a kid a lot when he was growing up to, to vouch for his character. But, Ron, That's let me ask you this. How much of it, though, stands to Les Miles, the head coach, because even you pointed out, he said, same statement, suspend the players, ongoing investigation, players will cooperate fully. Isn't it up to Les Miles and somebody there to basically tell these kids when they come in, you screw up, you're gone, but I covered sports for a lot of years, Ron. Nobody does that. We keep harping on this same thing decade after decade. Right, nobody does it. I mean, whether it's Les or, or anybody else, it's all about... You know, well, we look at the kid, what he did this time, and then we consider the consequences, and then, you know, what if there was a next time? The problem is there's too many coaches who are willing to accept a next time. You know, I mean, uh, you know, if you start making examples of kids and tossing them the first time, you may not have a second time very often because they'll finally get the message that they can't get away with stuff. And I guess not just less, because, I mean, less – Nick Saban, a lot of coaches, they'll, they'll try to deliver the message and they'll tell kids, you know, behave, blah, blah, blah. But unless you really enforce it the first time around and not be lenient, and, and then kind of a lot of times coaches will give the excuse, well, you know, we're trying to help the young man mature and grow. Sure, and, you know, but isn't it fair to say that that always comes with the nudge, nudge, wink, wink, say no more kind of attitude here? Because look. Well, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, especially, you know, true. Um, I mean, some crimes are worse than others. Some are just knucklehead crimes like the, the, the things committed by Jennings and two other, other players. Now, the other crime committed by the LSU player uh, where he, he slugged the girl while he was in a parking lot going through the pockets of some, somebody else had been knocked out by somebody else. Well, I mean, today that player got thrown off the LSU team. These are crooks, I mean, Ron. So, These are flat-out crooks. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's just it's just a thing where you got to you, – you, if this happens once, that's it. There shouldn't be a second time. you got to keep the another, boosters happy, Ron. Well, of course you do. But, but the whole thing – and, of course, it's your job security, too. But sure. every once in a while, you've got to draw the line of this stuff because it just it gets to the point where it gets out of hand, and it, it does give you a bad image. And if any, and the, the way to finally get to a coach is 
is if he's out recruiting somebody and the parents of that recruit says, well, I saw you how how these players get arrested. That's the only way you'll ever get to a coach is to, when he finally realizes, hey, this might be hurting our image and our recruiting. Ah, there you go. Oh, there goes that image. And by the way, as you pointed out, too, LSU is tied for first in the SEC with Alabama for the most football players arrested in 2015. Now we know, and I'm going to say this, I, I got to finish because we're out of time, but I think you and I both know, now we know a reason, one of the reasons why the SEC is one of the best conferences in college football. Well, they're, they're willing to take a lot of people who, you know, the other schools probably don't. Yep. A lot of problem children. And that's exactly right. But those problem children can catch and they can throw. Uh, don't forget, read Ron's work at NOLA, N-O-L-A dot com. Ron, a pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. All right. The one issue that has torn America apart again. No sign of easing up. It's next.